Hey guys, it's me, Zell, here again with another episode of The Bad Batch. And today we're watching episode seven, The Clone Conspiracy. I think this is an episode, just by the sounds of it, if I was guessing, getting us a little bit on trail with like the main storyline, if this season even has one, but tying it back into maybe like 99 Bad Batch crew and then maybe Crosshair and like the Empire and some sort of stuff like that. Maybe some older clone stuff coming in, but that's my guess just based on the title of it. So excited to see what we have in store. I obviously am still running off the high of that last episode just cause it brought me so much joy and emotion. So I'm ready for more. So let's get to it. was our home, and we destroyed it. Oh. All those cities, all those people, gone. They're all losing it. I'm sorry, Slip. That guy's got a, he got let himself grow a full on beard. Well, there's another one. It's just because they're getting more comfortable. I guess, yeah, that's probably because they're just getting retired out of the system eventually. Oh man, you're gonna get assassinated. Kate, Kate stop. Together we can. Oh, he stayed just to double check. Whoa! I don't know. Those are. Oh, they are meant to fly? Yikes. Oh, I feel so bad for them. Who is that? Admiral Rampart's proposed defense recruitment bill will keep us protected. Admiral I Rampart. I concur. The army comprised of the people who fight for the people. This recruitment bill has That's been discussed, <laughs> debated, <laughs> and tabled each session for a reason. The deployment of the clone army was a result of the Yay. Emergency Powers Act, put forward by then Chancellor Palpatine during the Separatist Crisis. Oh, snap. The Emperor, as always, trusts this delegation to act in the best interest of all galactic citizens. And what about the interests of the clone troops? Why are they not included within this legislation? Oh, The clone army cannot sustain given their accelerated aging. These are soldiers who defended us. Defended our world. Is that Omega's mm, voice actor? I didn't realize you spoke on the clones' behalf, Senator Chuchi. Chuchi. If we don't, who will? Is that how we repay them for their service? Aww. Is that what this empire stands for? She's being so caring. Everyone else is treating them like. I hear they don't have a say. Senator Chuchi. Tarkin assured me you were capable of getting the Senate to support this bill. I am not Has he always had that big old staff? Doesn't pass. Let Senator Chuchi make her demands for the clones. Once she's appeased, the defense recruitment bill will be approved long before any of the provisions she's seeking come for to For your you. sake, Admiral, be certain there are no more surprises. So freaking rude, man. He doesn't give an F about clones. <laughs> I'd rather be out there fighting those insurgent groups that keep popping up. Just, you just want to fight until you die on the battlefield? And what happens when you're too old to fight? Exactly. That's not a scenario we're trained to think as about. As difficult as it is to they accept, haven't even thought about the military it. service will come to an end. You get to choose what your lives will be. She's trying to do what's best. Are you truly gonna tell. intent on helping clones? You have no representation in the city. Admiral Rampart can't be trusted. Why not? He's lied to you. To everyone. Ooh. Kamino wasn't destroyed by a storm. He's gonna get her in trouble. It was an attack. Would it by Rampart himself? Clones are tried to speak up. Or either reassigned. Went missing. You seem like one of the good ones, Senator. Oh. Be careful. Uh-oh. Everything all right? 
Something troubling you, Senator. Don't bring it up to him. Don't. The storm that caused the cities of Camino to fall. How is it that you survived? <sighs> I was taking part in a training exercise off-world. If I had been present, perhaps more could have been saved. Wow. The majority of Lying the Camino population was lost, Admiral. That is beyond tragic day. You're playing with fire. She's playing with fire. <gasps> oh! Some Organa. Hello, Ryo. Wait, is that supposed to be R two D two? R two C four. Keep an eye. Oh, okay. I'm like his paint job is. Boca City, designed to be submersible, weathered thousands of storms over the years, yet it suddenly wiped off the map. Mm-hmm. Have you located the clone? Not yet. Yeah. But Senator Chuchi's guards have also been searching for him. If she finds him, handle it. The Senator as well. Yes. Uh. Ensure it can't lead back to me. Where are you? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? I'm in front. I need to find him. It's another clone. Easy, Trooper. Senator? That's not his connection, though. You're a hard person to trick down. The evidence down. you want is aboard Rampart's ship. Check the bridges, Command Lock. No, not out in the open. The 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 no. Oof, 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 oof. Oh man, does he have armor on? It's the connection. Please be the connection. I was gonna say that's a pistol wielder, not a rifle. Is it Cody? You're right, Senator. Captain Rex. Rex. What, what is going on? <gasps> a clown. Why would a trooper do such a thing? Is not a trooper. Not sure what he is, but I suggest we question him somewhere more hidden. Captain Rex, you're fighting the wrong battle, brother. So what does that make you? I believe her. Weirdo. Okay. Bro. Whoa. Not expect that. I love being surprised. So if I have to guess based on this new evidence, he is somehow convincing some of these troopers who maybe are understanding they are limited and they want to fight for something. Maybe he's somehow manipulating Rampart to fight for this new cause of like, this is your order, this is your mission. You know you have rapid aging and this is a way that you can fight your battle and your, you know, still have your purpose for fighting for the empire. So go against all those who are trying to release this information and go against the empire. So it's like trying to use what already drives them, you know, for the ones that aren't like overthinking, like the logistics or specifics of what they're doing, like, Oh, you're killing an entire city. Oh, you're killing these individuals who are trying to do what's right. Where they're just trying to think more about the mission and just the orders. That would be my guess. I don't know if he's like, has his own little clones that haven't been and he's somehow, or they have a new chip installed in them or something or new whatever. But man, that guy was like angry and he knew Captain Rex. Ooh. But I'm happy to see Rexy. Um, I was leaning towards Cody at first because he had left, you know, and maybe he's like, I want to help others leave like I did. But it also makes sense, of course, Rex, because he's like obviously way further down the F the Empire road <laughs> and helping my clone brothers. So yeah, this was a intense episode, a um, very interesting. I, again, love to see surprised, but happy surprised about a Senator representing and sticking up for the troopers. Again, everyone else talking about the clones and you know in general a military body as just a a body of people to fight a war and then things not stopping to think about the individuals involved 
And obviously we already know that there's the whole different thinking of clones being less than like the gen pop folks because they were just created for that purpose of fighting in the war, right? But I love that Senator Chuchi was being like, they deserve, you know, they're gonna age out. They need to have to be taken care of. Basically veteran, the VA, she wants to create a VA rights for them afterwards. And it's so sad when she was even asking them, they're like, we weren't programmed to think about life after. We were just thought about our life is fighting war. So they're like, wow, getting old enough to not be able to physically fight anymore. That's uh, that's hard. That's a hard pill to swallow. It's hard for anyone to be like, you know, any any aging from what I heard, that's, you know, difficult to accept the day that comes when you're no longer able to do the things you once were. And it makes it feel like a little part of you, like your purpose is gone. So a lot of different elements that they played into this episode that I thought was interesting and and some surprisingly new new aspects um again just in regards to the clones and, and them aging out and people caring for them and them and then this whole conspiracy aspect of the conspiracy of covering up that they completely desecrated this entire city of people again they may be clones of one another but these are all individuals and people and then all the other people on board but also this other conspiracy of these clones assassins being trained or programmed or used to kill other clones that were gonna spill the beans but yeah very interesting i'm excited for the next one to come so thanks for being here guys if you want to support the channel Go ahead and give this video a like if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe so that you can be let know be aware be told alerted when the next video goes live so that's it that's a wrap and i'll see you on the next one